Also tonight, today marks the 33rd anniversary of the disappearance of Amy Mahalovic. Her body was found on this day in 1989 in Ashland County. Her killer has not been caught. Family and friends are holding their annual walk to honor Amy's life. Carmen Blackwell is there in Bay Village with the latest on that. Hi, Carmen. Russ, it's been over 30 years now since uh, we've lost Amy Mahalovic here. Such a beautiful, bright light in Bay Village, a life taken far too soon, though her memory is still very much alive. Tonight, we take a walk down memory lane. 33 years ago today, Amy Mahalovic was nearly 11 years old when she disappeared one afternoon from Bay Village Square Shopping Center. Her abduction became a national story. Amy, a fifth grader, reportedly had been lured there after getting a phone call from a man who claimed to work with her mom. The man telling little Amy he wanted her help in buying a gift for her mother, who had recently been promoted at work. Amy vanished October 27, 1989. Her body found 50 miles away in rural Ashland County several months later. But it all came to a heartbreaking end about a quarter of a mile down this quiet country road. While the investigation remains ongoing, so does Amy's memory. Bay Village will never forget the pint-sized, bright-eyed little girl with a big smile. And while Amy will never come home, her forever home, Bay Village, will never forget Amy. The community keeps her memory alive. And while her family, father, Mark, and brother, Jason Mahalovic, may have given up on guessing Amy's killer. We were both told not to walk off with strangers. We were both told not to, uh, you know, answer the door, go off in cars with other people we don't know. She was naive, but not stupid. There's just been too much effort put into this. Uh, there's been too much effort. Um, you always got to keep the, the candle lit. You got to keep going. You got to keep thinking that it's going to be solved. They have not given up on hope for more answers. Each year, on the day she was taken too soon, a one-mile walk in her honor. A walk for Amy. Well, Russ, tonight we end this year's walk right here in Bay Middle School Memorial Gardens. As you can see, the stone that they've set aside just to remember and to honor Amy's life. And you can, too. They're accepting donations for the Amy Fund, the Walk for Amy Fund. And that we have all of that information up on our website, WKYC.com. All of the funds go towards the FBI agent that is so dedicated to this case. He's retired now, and he is still working tirelessly to find Amy's killer to give some sort of resolve and answers for her family and for this community. But what an outpour of support and love they have for Amy here tonight. Uh, so refreshing to see so many faces here yeah. and to offer words of encouragement and support for her family. Of course, 33 years, hard to believe. Carmen Blackwell in Bay Village, thank you so much.